Hello, uh, and welcome to the latest Lucosa Retro Game Review video. And for this one, it is Hybris for the Commodore Amiga, which uh, came out in 1988, uh, released by Discovery International. Now the game is actually still loading, even though the uh, title page music has started. But uh, it doesn't actually take too long to load. And uh, this, I say, is a fairly early game in the, uh, well, for the Amiga. <coughs> for some reason I seem to lump all of the uh, games that came out in the 80s as early games. Maybe I'm doing it a disservice actually, it's, it's not that early. So, um, as you can see, it's a vertical uh, shoot up. Let's get a game underway and... Uh, once it starts anyway, we'll, uh, here we go. So. It starts off, uh, innocuous enough. You may be thinking, this looks fucking easy. And, I mean, the, the level progression is... Well, I just fucked that up. The uh, level progression is such that uh, it gives you, it certainly gives you a chance to uh, get some way into each level. But uh, don't for one moment uh, think that this game is easy, because uh, the later levels get uh, extremely difficult. Uh, once you're able to uh, get to grips with uh, the... Um, Uh, as far as I'm memorising the uh, enemy waves go, that certainly helps. Now you'll notice that there were like these shield things ahead of those uh, land-based uh, uh, like missiles and launchers. But there is a way of getting around them. If you press enter, or if you're playing with joystick, if you waggle the joystick around, you then engage the secondary fire mode, which you can do uh, three times per uh, weapon upgrade. Oh, you fucker! And with that engaged, you can fire over the uh, uh, those shields. Oh, bollocks, I am making a right fuck up of this. I'm usually a lot better than this. I had a couple of warm-up goes with this yesterday and I did quite well. And then of course, now that I'm actually doing a video of it, no, that's when it completely goes fucking tits up and makes me look like I'm fucking hopeless. Now there are uh, power-ups that you pick up throughout the game, which uh, improve your... Uh, your firepower throughout. Now, because I have uh, royally fucked up this version, this go, in fact I've fucked it up so much I'm going to just go straight on with starting again before I cover anything else. Uh, no, I'm not going to continue, I'm going to start from scratch. I'm going to try and pretend that that go didn't happen, because uh, that was, without question, the shittiest go I've had since I downloaded this uh, disk image. Right, anyway, you can actually select which uh, commander you play as, either JP, Maverick, or K, love it. I don't think it really makes any difference, apart from when it shows a graphic of uh, your particular commander at the end of each level. Right, so let's get, uh, let's, let's try this again. So you start off with the level 1 uh, uh, firepower, level 1 power up. Uh, if you take a shot on the, the actual wings part, you will lose that and be taken down to level 0. But uh, after a while, um, another ship uh, will fly past, which uh, carries um, the uh, next uh, level uh, power up. Occasionally you just sort of may have seen me fly over what looked like a piece of fruit. 
Um, I don't know why those things appear, but they do, and uh, they um, well, they allow you to uh, score bonus points. I fucking don't believe this. Last night I made it to level two <coughs> and lost just one life throughout uh, the entire time getting to level two. Now I'm not getting fuck all nowhere. Maybe if I shut up, I'll, uh, I'll actually have a bit of a chance. Or not. What doesn't help is the fact that this game really does kill my fucking hand that, uh, that I'm using for the fire button. And uh, you don't get any sort of respite if you're using uh, the joystick. I'm using uh, keys. So I now have the level 2 uh, power up. As well as increasing your firepower, they also increase the strength of your shield. So if I, yeah, I just took a hit there to the wings, so they reduced me down to level one again. But uh, at least, um, you know, I've not completely lost the uh, ability for uh, that uh, firepower. You don't have to use the extend, uh, you know, uh, extending the, the wings to uh, destroy these uh, things, the uh, ground base uh, units that are protected by those shields. If you get close enough to them, you can fire past the shields. It's not a tactic I like doing. Uh, you can only uh, do this uh, extended wing part three times per... Uh, uh, power up, so I can do it once more. Um, but if I get the next power up, which is just shown up there, so if I shoot that and then collect them, right, so now I can do it three more times. Um, if you lose a life, it gets reset, so you uh, can do it uh, three more times there as well. Same also applies to a smart bomb that you get, which. Uh, you can use three times again, but um, if you uh, lose a life, I think it gets reset. Other than that, the only other times uh, your smart bombs are returned to you uh, is when uh, you finish a level. I don't think you get three more when you uh, get the next uh, like wings uh, upgrade. Don't quote me on that. I think we are now at the halfway stage, yeah, so this is when it's time for me to use the uh, smart bomb. So use it three times, that drives him away. So, uh, on with the review, I think. Um, right, graphically, uh, graphically, I think the game's fine, it's alright, it's not exactly, uh, you know, revolutionising uh, you know, uh, Amiga graphics, but uh, they do the job that they're meant to do, as I completely fuck up again. Yeah, they do the job, and they do the job quite well. Um, uh, sound, I think the sound is fucking superb. The, the music in the game, I'm not too fussed about the uh, title page music, but uh, the in-game music and the uh, high score music are both fucking excellent. Uh, they rank as some of the uh, best music I've heard on an Amiga. I'm not exaggerating one bit. Um, and the actual sound effects, um, I love the uh, like really meet the explosion sounds when you uh, shoot anything and um, oh yes and when you are destroyed yourself if 
finally got some wings back. And gameplay wise, the game, say, looks like it could be quite simple, but don't for one moment think that is the case. Uh, it's very deceptive. Um, the game is extremely challenging, especially once you get onto later levels. There are only three levels, I thought I had royally fucked that up, but uh, even though there are only three, they do go on for a fair old while, so, uh, you know, it's not like you will breeze through it. Because, uh, yeah, you certainly will not be breezing through this game. Uh, then there are uh, the bosses, which as you've seen, um, appear twice, uh, halfway through the level, and then again at the end. So, in terms of like its level design, it's pretty much like any other uh, horizontal shoot 'em up but uh, of course they were still, well, relatively in their infancy, I guess. I mean, they certainly hadn't reached the... Uh, the complexity of, uh, you know, uh, something like Armalite or anything like that. Now this thing, if I can reach it, it increases the speed with which your shots uh, are fired, which uh, helps you to uh, dispatch these fuckers even quicker, which you need. Um, I don't mind telling you that this game is fucking killing my fucking hand. <laughs> I could do with, uh, I could almost do with uh, losing a life and saying that's it, game over, because I just <laughs> fucking, my hand fucking hurts. So, um, yes, yeah, so graphics are great, well, good enough. I mean, they certainly compared to uh, the, uh, to, you know, coin up arcade games at the time. So yeah, they're fine. Um, sound effects and uh, music uh, soundtrack are both fucking superb. And the gameplay is great. It's uh, challenging and uh, it's... Uh, here we go, the uh, boss. So we'll just uh, use uh, all three smart bombs. That's why I save my smart bombs to the end. I don't use them during the level. Unfortunately, uh, this is the only time you can actually do that. Uh, with the level 2 and 3 bosses, you still need to shoot them some more. So we've got uh, the first ace done. Now transport it to the second. Which is, uh, well, certainly more difficult than the first level. And you saw I was making a right pig's ear of the fucking first level, so I can't see me doing too well here. But um, as, a, as a game, I say it is absolutely of uh, arcade quality of the time, uh, in every way. Uh, you know, graphics, sound, gameplay, it's all there. It's, uh, it's definitely a game that uh, you could uh, have been playing in the arcades. And it's a decent shooter. It's, uh, I would give this um, 9 out of 10 because uh, it's just extremely well done and I am a fan of it. I completely bollocks that up but uh, well I've got away with it. I said the only way I could improve it really is if um, the uh, uh, music didn't cut out while you are uh, firing. Uh, but that's, you know, is, you know, to be honest, that's a pretty minor uh, complaint. So um, I'm, you know, I'm certainly not going to complain that it happens. Even though I think I just have, I completely fucked that up. I wanted to get uh, to that and increase my firing rate, but nope. You may be thinking that uh, the levels all look uh, quite samey. Well. Um, the landscape may look samey to a degree, but uh, oh, so I lost my uh, stage 2 power up. Oh, 
Fucking <laughs> hell, this is fucking killing me. Um, I would, I would suggest actually that uh, if you uh, had a joystick with an auto fire, then uh, use it. Um, uh, well, okay, I'm not really that sorry that I lost a life there because this is starting to fucking hurt my wrist. There is actually a bit of a story behind me doing this review. Um, I've been trying to remember this game for fuck knows how long, and. Um, it was a, a comment that uh, Lemon Tube Amiga made on um, my review of Xenon, where he just happened to mention this game, casually. And I thought that title definitely sounds familiar. Is it the game that I've been trying to find for fuck knows how long? And it was! So, you can thank him for me uh, being able to do this review. This particular music, the high score music, I think is the best in the game. Uh, the in-game music is fantastic, but uh, the yeah, this uh, high score music I just think is <laughs> fucking brilliant. So I, I'm, I'm not keen on doing you know the whole bloody uh, entering your name in a fucking arcade style, but. I don't think it's going to let me enter too many more letters. But, uh, yeah, that looks like that's it. So, um, well, if we get to be uh, Lucosa, it doesn't let you do that because uh, you have to then end it. So there we go, uh, I won't bother continuing. So uh, there you go, that is Hybris, a uh, fantastic uh, vertical shooter. Um, a lot more challenging than you may think. Uh, graphics and sound are definitely arcade uh, quality for the time. And, uh, well, if you haven't played this game, then play it now simple as that and uh, if you did have it back in the day then uh, well unless you forgot the title like I did then uh, there is no reason not to uh, still have this in your collection um, so yeah there you are uh, 9 out of 10 uh, fantastic uh, shooter uh, probably my well, certainly one of my favourite uh, uh, shoot em ups on the Amiga that so brings this review to an end, and as always, we will see you at the next one. Not the least, because the next one is the 150th uh, retro review I've done, which means I will be doing some quite major title. So there you go, uh, right, uh, well, um, there you go, uh, see you at the next video.